Right everyone, Web Collector here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on crossbow bayonets, specifically for the Adder and the R9. So I came up with an idea to mount a knife on these, a bayonet, um, and I thought I'd show you. It's quite a simple process, and the way I did it, I think most people could copy this quite easily. So there is the bayonet. And that is basically a throwing knife. Now, the reason I used a throwing knife is because they often have holes in the handle. So, if you're lucky, like I was, the holes were pretty much in the perfect position to put where the screw holes are. So, I've got a flashlight torch on this side. Let me take that off and I'll just show you where the bolts are. So, there's one there, one there. So basically, I've got the throwing knife and the holes, so you won't be able to see because I've got a quiver here. The holes fit perfectly where the bolts are, the screws. And I've put them under the weaver rail as well. The actual knife is under the weaver rail, so it's permanently mounted there. It's solid, but you can still mount other stuff on the rails. What I did for this top one, so this here, I've actually put a bolt all the way through to add some extra strength. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And you can get quite big throwing knives as well. So if you wanted to replace this with something even longer, you can do that. The little sheaf I made is just out of a piece of uh, PVC drain pipe. Again, you can make that really easily. So that fits on. And... It's perfectly in level with the rail, so it won't affect the bolts coming out either. Here's an example of some of the throw knives that would possibly fit on the uh, Adder and the R9. And also the Vlad. I've done this on the Vlad, which I'll show you later. Um, you may need to enlarge the holes. So what I did with these ones, I just got a file and I made them slightly bigger so they fit on there. Because they may not fit perfectly, but it means you don't have to be drilling hardened steels and stuff like that because that is hard to do but um with a with an all right quite new file you should be able to file this especially with something like a, a chainsaw file uh, a file for ch a sharpening chainsaws so yeah this one i'm going to use for my junzing dracon and it'll be mounted that way yeah i think that works really well and the best thing of all is the fact that it can still enable you to mount loads of other things yeah, and they basically just sit under the, just take the rail off, make sure the holes line up with the original holes, put it on, put the rail back on, bolt it on. <clears throat> I did replace the screw this size with a slightly bigger screw, and here I said there's a bolt going all the way through. So that's the one for the adder anyway. Um, yeah, I have my adder set up like... A large pistol really I don't bother with a stock on mine I mean, you need it yeah. so here is the R9 this one's got the stock on it and a quiver that I put on the front but yeah the bayonet again it's mounted on the side you can see this one slightly better underneath the rail so again I've replaced both the screws this one is just a slightly longer Phillips screw. And again, there's a bolt going all the way through there. Just to really strengthen it up. And then it basically just sits under the rail, as you can see. Um, yeah, I think that looks really good. Works really well. Yeah, I really like that. As far as I'm aware, these throwing knives, you can buy them online and they don't cost that much. And you get them in sets of three as well. Um, yeah, which means if you've got multiple crossbows like I do, you can get a, a pack of three um, or a set of three and then uh, put them on all your crossbows. <laughs> If you want to see a full demonstration of how to do this, I can do that. Just just ask in the uh, comments on a later date. I'll do a full tutorial 
I'll get a, a throwing knife and I'll show you how to make the holes so they match up and screw it on and all that if you're up for that. But yeah, I think that's quite self-explanatory anyway. And it's a good little sort of sleek looking bayonet that doesn't get in the way. Uh, these scabbards can be made really easily. Um, sheaves, uh, as I said, that one's just PVC pipe. You could use leather, you could use cardboard and duct tape, to be honest. It only needs to cover it up. Um, and the good thing with these, you don't ever have to hold them or anything. I do cocking aid bayonets as well, which are fully working cocking aids, but they can't really be sharp because um, you have to hold them. But they are pointy and they'll still penetrate metal and wood and other softer materials. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so let me know if you've got any uh, bayonet ideas yourself. That's what I came up with. It's a nice permanent fixture, I think. Works well and easy to do. But there are other options. You can mount them on with a scope rail, stuff like that. But I just like this because I'm never going to need the knife as it is. I just want it permanently on there. And that's, that's all I need, really. I don't need to take it off. If I was going to have a knife, I would have a knife on me separately. Um, that is a permanent feature. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like the video. Definitely comment. Share it if you think you know if you, if you know any places that people might want to see this. Uh, definitely subscribe because I do lots of crossbow videos. And if people request it, I will do a full tutorial on this. And at a later date, I'll show you my pistol crossbow um, cocking aid bayonets and the one on the Vlad and the one on the Janzing Dracon. Um, I probably do, I probably will do tutorials on all of them. Alright, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.